we need to find the square root of this big number. You might say, hey, this is super duper easy, as I will simply use a calculator, plug in values, and tada, I will have the answer. But this is what the challenge is about. You are not allowed to use the calculator. So, can you solve it? Okay, as a first step, we will break this mountain looking number into this plus this. Can you observe what we did? The first part has all the same number of fours from the original number, and we just added the same number of zeros in place of twos and the last five. And the second part is simply the leftover, which is this part of the number. Now we can again break this second part into this plus five. This is easy to understand, right? And you might be wondering why we're doing all this breaking and splitting? Just wait and watch and you will be amazed. Now look at this. We'll write this giant number as four fours times 10 raised to power six because we have six zeros here. And similarly, we will write this number as this times 10. So our whole expression becomes the square root of this. That's already looking more structured, but we can do even better. Notice how this value is actually four times these four ones, and this number is two times these five ones. Now here comes the magic. These four ones can also be written as four nines divided by nine, and these five ones can also be written as five nines divided by nine. Next, these four nines is also equal to 10,000 minus one, or it can also be written as 10 raised to 4 minus 1. Then these 5 9s is also equal to 100,000 minus 1. Or it can also be written as 10 raised to 5 minus 1. So substitute it here. Now we will use the power rule a raised to m times a raised to n equals a raised to m plus n. So this 10 to the 4 times 10 to the 6 equals 10 raised to 10 minus this equals 10 raised to 6. Similarly here, 10 to the 5 times 10 is 10 to the 6, and that minus 10. Now, let us open the brackets for this case, and then for this case, like this. Next, we will make this denominator common for all by writing this 5 as 45 divided by 9. So now, we can keep all of them under one denominator. Now this 45 minus 20 is 25. Consider this number. We can write 4 as 2 squared and 10 raised to 10 as 10 raised to 5 times 2. But a raised to m times n is the same as a raised to m whole raised to n. So 10 raised to 5 times 2 is the same as 10 raised to 5 whole square. Next power rule that we will use says that a raised to m times b raised to m, that is when two different numbers are raised to same power, we can club them together to get a b whole raised to m. So this becomes 2 times 10 raised to the power of 5 whole square. Noise. Now, this minus 4 times 10 raised to 6 plus 2 times 10 raised to 6 will be equal to minus 2 times 10 raised to 6. We can rewrite it as 2 times 10 raised to 5 plus 1 or 2 times 10 raised to 5 times 10, right? Next, this 10 can be broken as 2 times 5. So this becomes this 2 times 2 times 10 raised to 5 times this 5. So substitute both of them here. First, rewrite this 4 times 10 raised to 10 as this, and then this part as this. Now also rewrite this 25 as 5 squared. Oh my God, can you notice something? This is nothing but a square minus 2 times ab plus b square, which is equal to a minus b whole square, where a is 2 times 10 raised to the fifth power, and b is 5. So this will be 2 times 10 raised to 5 minus 5 whole square. And this 9 is nothing but 3 square. So again, using this rule, we can rewrite this as 2 times 10 raised to the fifth power minus 5 divided by 3 whole square. This square root and this square gets canceled out. 
and we will be left with this. 2 times 10 raised to 5 is 200,000, and minus 5 is this number, and that divided by 3 gives 4 sixes with a 5. And that's it. We can verify the same using a calculator. Wow, so good!